All right, everybody, welcome to episode one. Uh, we are going to start an Eagle CAD uh, series, a, a tutorial series of, uh, of some sort. It's going to be a little bit conversational. Um, I don't have any, any scripts or anything like that, uh, but I do have some topics that I plan on doing. Uh, that I've kind of predetermined uh, to to cover, um, but I, th I think probably the first thing I should say is that I, I am not um, affiliated in any way with Autodesk or any other brands or or any of that. Factory Four Hundred is uh, is just kind of putting forth an effort to offer some education, some help, uh, and community for Eagle, which I use all the time for designing electronics. I've used it for a number of years, and I am. Uh, particularly happy and excited with what uh, Autodesk um, has done with uh, with Eagle as, as it came out of uh, or came into the ownership of it from uh, from CADSoft, and um, uh, I, you know I wanted to share some of this stuff with you. The um, uh, yeah, I'm a professional designer. I'm an engineer, mechanical engineer, uh, electrical engineer, and um, you know, uh, this is uh, on the screen here. This is one of the things that I've uh, recently designed. This is kind of typical of what I do. This uh, particular system has about uh, 14 PCBs. Once it's going to be all, all said and done, most of them are double sided and there's eight layer blind and buried vias, high speed digital analog kind of, you know, it kind of runs the gamut of, uh, of PCB design. And, you know, I've learned a lot, um, but, you know, one of the things that um, uh, is important to me is uh, is learning and and I kind of feel like you know hey well, why why am I going to bother with with any of this stuff and 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 honestly it's because if I decide to teach a group of people uh, about um, circuit board design and, and Eagle in particular it forces me to learn more about it uh, so I, I think I'll be better in the end and and, and hopefully you will be too. Um, and you know, and another another reason is that you know Eagle has not produced very useful videos. Uh, I don't want uh, Jorge Garcia to be too upset with me, but uh, really all they've really they, they've they've offered a handful of videos, but they've done a lot of like you know hour long webinar type videos. Uh, it, it's really hard to find any particular um, topic. So if you wanted to learn, you know kind of brush up on something really specific you have to slog through an hour-long webinar and uh, and it's kind of a pain so you know one of the things I I'm going to do uh, in, in in all of this is is first and foremost covering the process of circuit board design that, that's that's really kind of what it is now Eagle happens to be uh, what I use the the tool that kind of you know, helps make that uh, a reality. It's kind of what we're going to be covering as software. But, you know, keep in mind, um, if I just teach you Eagle, uh, that doesn't make you a circuit board designer. It doesn't make you an electrical engineer. Uh, it, it doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. Um, all that really does is make you somebody who knows Eagle, um, you know, which is which is great. So if I teach you QuickBooks, it doesn't make you an accountant. Uh, if I teach you Photoshop, it doesn't make you... Um, an artist. Uh, so, you know, kind of think of it in, in that sense. Uh, so covering the circuit board design is, is really kind of high on my priority list. Um, and of course, we're going to cover that in the context of Eagle. Uh, so it, the, the next uh, kind of major idea here is that organization of the entire process is crucial. There are a whole lot of parts. There are a whole lot of steps. There's a lot of um, you know, rabbit holes that you can uh, wander into. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of what I'm going to cover up front, it's not going to be making the LED blink as fast as possible or, you know, what, whatever little project, um, you know, this is not a learn Eagle in 10 minutes kind of a thing. This is going to be an ongoing discussion that covers all sorts of topics that go from kind of the very the basics obviously is where we'll start um, but it's going to go as far as I can possibly take it um, really pushing the limits of Eagle pushing the limits of circuit board design um, and and hopefully uh, you'll get a whole lot out of that at least as much as I do um, so tips and tricks I think will probably be uh, part of this that there's a lot of um, uh, 
I, I guess I find myself, I, I guess, getting stuck every once in a while because I, I can see that a new tool came out or I can I, I can see um, a feature. I can pull down a menu and see something. But I'm like, you know, how does all of this stuff really interact with each other? How do you use all of these things in the context of a certain problem or something like that? And that's really where tips and tricks comes in, where you kind of look, you, I'll, I'll take kind of um a, a little challenge and kind of break it down into what buttons I've pushed and and what I had to do to solve the problem uh, in, in that kind of way, uh, hopefully fairly um, fairly quickly. Um, and, and at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I, of course, I plan on covering whatever uh, I, I'm going to cover that day. Uh, you know, I'm a I'm a professional. Um, I'm I'm actually working two jobs at the moment, and um, so I don't have any time to, uh, to to script any of these things. So sometimes I'll just jump on the thing, and and we'll just kind of run through some ideas, some eagleish stuff, and uh, and circuit board design stuff, and 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 kind of see where it takes us. And you know, I'll go for five or ten minutes, and and um, and if you don't like it, you can always skip it. Um, so, you know, I was trying to think, I, I, I've done some other videos for, uh, I kind of had a false start with Factory 400, um, you know, was making videos that required editing and, and all that kind of stuff. It's, I just don't have the time. I, I can, I can uh, probably allocate half an hour a day, sit down at the computer and, uh, and turn it on, just hit record and um, make, a, make a short video, uh, five or 10 minutes, um, unscripted. Uh, whatever kind of conversational just like we're doing now and 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 I really kind of hope that that um, that uh, gets through the topic topics in enough detail uh, that they're usable but it's short enough that you know as as I grow into um, you know 30 40 50 episodes you can go back and, and uh, review certain um, topics or ideas and and hopefully um, everybody's nice enough to leave some comments about what they want more coverage of or less coverage of or you know whatever uh the case is so anyway so i think that's probably enough of the introduction uh the, the next episode is um it's going to be the eagle library uh some people are like you know kind of wondering oh gosh we're really going to start with the library well Every single circuit board needs parts. Um, all designs have to start with parts. And th this is a huge mistake that I made uh, when I first started with Eagle. I really just started designing. I started just heaving stuff in into the... Um, into the software just kind of in a rush to get a design done and it really kind of bit me in the butt that I didn't really learn how to use the library I didn't know, learn um, how to develop the parts how to organize the parts because at the end of the day you're not just organizing the parts for a schematic um, or a layout you have to eventually buy the parts you have to store the parts you're gonna have to assemble your circuit boards um, you might have a contract manufacturer um, produce your your boards uh in, in which case you need to have everything b pretty much brilliantly and flawlessly organized or or you're just it, the whole thing is going to fall apart and and it it kind of just becomes a very frustrating process and and i i really have learned that the hard way as we go through the the library i'll certainly be throwing out examples of dumb things that i did or uh you know areas that i just didn't expect to be um quite so difficult and challenging but now that I'm, I'm pretty far pretty deep into this I've, I've learned how to um, how to organize things well enough that um, you know I, I think that um, I can I can help some of the newer users uh, avoid some of these problems and I can help some of the the uh, the the people that have been using Eagle for a while I'm hoping that I can kind of help you to kind of reel in some of the your lack of organization, uh, if, if that's fair to say, uh, so that uh, y you can kind of get more out of it, uh, be less frustrated, and, uh, and and get some circuit boards out the door um, as, as quickly as possible. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Um, tomorrow, I will uh, start with the library, and um, we're going to look at how parts are made and and um, and and what what makes that up. I suspect it's probably going to be um, a good six or seven episodes that just covers the parts and the library to give you an idea of of uh, how deep that rabbit hole goes. And and I I really do feel like that is important to cover. Um, it 
at that level uh, before we start getting into making schematics and laying out circuit boards and all that kind of stuff. We really, that this is the foundation. It's kind of critical. So uh, stick with me. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, hopes, dreams, leave them in the comments and uh, we'll see you soon.